Mr. Mixer at GarageBand Guru. Uh, this is a video on revoicing. Revoicing is basically the idea to take an instrument and you may on the GarageBand program uh, like a particular sound of the way the note is hit or struck or plucked depending on what instrument and then you uh, want to change the sequence of those notes that were put in by a set pattern, for example, for electric piano or for organ or for grand piano. And you want to change the notes based on the other sequence. Let me explain it to you. So let's do a new song. And first I'll tell you which of the instruments can do revoicing. You can do it on the drums, the keyboard, smart guitar, smart keyboard or the smart bass. It's not available on smart strings or smart drums. So let's do it on the guitar first and we'll go over here to the wrench and take off our metronome and take off our count in changing our pitch to a minor pitch C sharp minor. There's our pitch. We'll go ahead and put in a little bit faster of a tempo and that will be a, let's just go to 133. Now we're going to go to a number three autoplay. And let's say if we try it, three fingers on the C sharp minor, it sounds too folk for us, for what we're after. We're trying to get something a little bit more modern. So how can you do that using the same sounds of the acoustic? There's a lot of uh, experimenting you can do, but you could say to yourself, I like the sound of the acoustic guitar, the way the string sounds, but I don't really like the sequence of the ones that are offered to me here. So what you can do is you can go to a, another guitar, like you can go to the Roots Rock, and notice how this is very different, the Roots Rock C sharp minor. So let's say you like the way that that sequence goes, but you don't necessarily like the sound of the Roots Rock guitar and the electrical on it. You still want an acoustic picking done with that sequencing. So go ahead and take your Roots Rock. We're going to record on the three, the C sharp minor, three fingers, just four bars. So we have that recorded and it sounds just like you heard it. Now here's the revoicing. All you do is take your area here where it has the variety of guitars and you go back to the acoustic. And those notes are still the same, but it might change it a little bit because now you use acoustic. So notice how the strings are plucked according to the sequence in the Roots Rock, but with the acoustic. Here's what it sounds like. That turned out great. So that's how you do the revoicing in the guitar. On the drums, pick an instrument. You can do it over here on the smart drums. Oops, other direction. No, you cannot do it on smart drums. You have to do it on the regular drums. And you can pick the just the basic classic, or if you want to pick something else, it's easier to hit with your fingers, like a classic drum machine. Turn that up a little bit. Let's go to our track volume here. So it sounds very false, very synthetic. Let's record some of this. So two fingers here. Now 
if we just switch the machine right here to the classic. Now see what it sounds like. So just for demonstration purposes. But you can see how that was revoiced. Let's go ahead and turn the guitar on mute, just so you can hear the drums. So it's just the snare drum. But it started off as being very synthetic, and now it's uh, actually a true drum sound. So, uh, mess around with the revoicing. It's really a very fun way to um, play with GarageBand. Uh, the piano is probably the most interesting. When you go to the instruments here, let's say you're a real good piano player, and you can play your piano piece the way you want to here using the grand piano. And then, of course, you've got 80 different styles of keyboards here you can revoice it to. So that's spectacular. I'm not a professional piano player, but let's record a little bit. Alright, let's stop that. Put all this stuff on mute. Except for our piano. So we're just going to do a few bars here. So that sounds like grand piano. Now, if you want to just page through these, you can do that while it's playing too and as it repeats. Electric, whirly, soul organ, classic rock organ. It's changing each one of those and doing a revoicing. You can do the pads, moonrise, So it might be just you change your mind and you want to switch it to those, that's easy to do. In the uh, smart piano or smart keyboard it's even more interesting if you have that same trouble with trying to get the right sequences. Like a lot of these electric piano sequences are very fun sounding. So you could record one of those, you know, and then go ahead and revoice that so that it's actually the grand piano again. Then you've got a grand piano sound that sounds really hip. Anyways, that's revoicing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.